And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon to help me describe all the action and all about action from League One coming right up. It's Fleetwood Town and they face Wickham Wanderers. Thank you, Derek. I was just flicking through my notes at this one. Everything pointing to a really lively matchup. This is fingers Thank crossed, you. eh? Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. The initial 11 today for the hosts. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two fullbacks will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. This is how the visitors will set up today. The tactical battle is going to be highly instructive. 4-3-3 three, three on... Might be a chance here! And he has just veered into an offside position this time. It's with Marnie. Paul Coots on the ball. Pietro Pellegri. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful Three, effort this is. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Allegri in possession. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And a pretty straightforward stop for the goalkeeper there. Yeah, weak shot straight at him. No problem for the goalie. Paul Coots on the ball. A good and fair challenge. He could pick out a teammate. Well, the header was respectable, but the goalkeeper always seemed to have it covered. A really good reading of the game to win possession back. Dangerous looking attack. And that is how to block. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Shot attempted. Well, really, that would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. News of a goal on the Rotherham United match. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Rotherham United. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Into the advanced position. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. Paul Coots on the ball, racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they take advantage? Real chance. And a goal in his debut, no less. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, he'll have been dreaming about that last night. What a way to endear yourself to those fans. It's going their way, 2-0. Paul Coots on the ball. Marnie. He's in with a chance. It has to be, surely. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper then. Dempsey. Paul Coots on the ball. Williams. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. But he was in the right place to intercept, and crossed in there. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Could be a chance to break here. 
Pietro Pellegri. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And he's in the clear. The goals keep going in for them. I don't think they're going to throw this away now. Absolutely omnipotent. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Is it going to end up being productive for them? What a fine reaction from the keeper. Yeah, it looked like a good opportunity, to be fair. But the keeper was more than equal to it. They've regained possession. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. Andrew. Paul Coots on the ball. And they've won possession again. An unforced error, you've got to say. Freeman. But he has just veered into an offside position this time. Dempsey. Paul Coots on the ball. Marnie. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 29 minutes played. And it might be... And he's fired it against the post. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Apologies for interrupting Alan McAnally. And to recap for you, a goal in that match for the away side. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Maneuvering his way forward. And showing fine vision. Slot at home into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp but the second time of asking but first time around it was a good deal more complicated you know, it was a fabulous save initially he gets the ball in the end beautifully weighted ball read it superbly to take back possession and they'll have to throw it back in play The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, giving it a try. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, we're underway again. And this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Freeman. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a goal for Shrewsbury Town. 36 minutes played. 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. He succeeds in clearing it. Marnie. Definitely they look as though they want to make this move count. Freeman. Paul Smith. Morris. Pietro Pellegri. Tremendous ball played through. Is this the moment? His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick. Fully deserved. Well done indeed. Oh, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. And that's an important intervention. Marnie. Paul Coots on the ball. Pellegri in possession. Giving the ball away. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And thwarted there following the cross. Dempsey. And scope for them to produce something exciting.
It looks promising. Now he must favour the cross. Just over the crossbar with that header. Oh, it's a perfect cross. It's a perfect position. And he just gets underneath it over the bar. And three minutes shall be added on for stoppages. Three minutes of added time. And whipped into the box. Easy meet. Dempsey. Paul Coots on the ball. Pietro Pellegri. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Plenty of forward momentum here. Opportunity it is. And another goal. It doesn't get much better than this. A debut double. Well, it's a double bubble, Derek. He can't believe it. Well, when the run is timed to perfection and the ball is perfectly weighted, this is what you get. A great goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. The first half here comes to an end. Pietro Pellegrini. The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? And the cross is very much on. Giving it a try. Now that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, he's given a corner, the referee. And over comes the corner. What can he do from here? And putting his body on the line. Marnie. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. News of a goal at Fratton Park. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Portsmouth. 48 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Morris. A highly purposeful attack, this. The emphasis on getting the ball forward. He has plenty of support. Great opportunity. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Well, when he's in this sort of mood, he's absolutely unstoppable. What a performance. Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat-trick at some point, you feel. He's just so full of confidence. Never looked like missing. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Wonderfully weighted pass. This looks promising. Oh, dear. I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it was well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. Well, a fascinating piece of transfer business has gone through. I can tell you that Memphis Depay has completed his move to Borussia Dortmund League. Well, Derek, a fee of around £40 million is being banded around. That places a huge responsibility on the player's shoulders. Can he carry that load? Watch this space. Well, the fans enjoyed that pass. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Well, they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. And a half-baked clearance. An attack full of promise. Cross-fired over. Danger averted for now. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Just not looking confident in possession. And providing width. And just the header that was required. The goal they were in search of. Well, he put some superb balls in from the wide areas. And that one's probably the best. And what do they get? Reward. A goal. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Half an hour remaining then. Please collect them as 
Possession changes hands, the interception there. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alan McAnally has the news. It's a second goal for Shrewsbury Town. 62 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Paul Coots on the ball. It's all about translating threats into goals. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Marnie. Morris. Has a go. And he got to it fairly easily. Dempsey. Looks promising this. And threading it forward. Well, it might still work out for them. Dealing with the threat that was real. Well, Derek, the floodgates are open. How many goals are they going to score? They've created so many chances if they put half of them away. Firing it towards goal. And just a whip. away with that effort well he chose his instep good technique just wide substitution for Wickham Wanderers coming off the pitch number 11 Scott Cashcane coming onto the pitch number seven David Wheeler giving the ball to the opposition that time Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Useful ball to the near post. Keeper did his job to begin with. Read it superbly to take back possession. Happy to take on the shot. The goal seemed to be at his mercy, but defenders don't always have to touch the ball to have an influence. No, it's that pressure that comes from the defender that makes him hurry his shot. Close. A move of promise on the flank. Is this the moment? And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, here's the replay. Defenders don't like it when he goes to wide areas because they know what's going to happen. The ball's going to come into the box, and on that occasion, it comes in, and now they're picking it out the back of the net. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Williams. Dempsey. Chet Evans now. A really sumptuous ball. Cross fired over. Well, the clearance half hearted. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. And a throw in it's going to be. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. And now they have the ball back. Really a very poor ball. Connolly. Well, the pass not finding its target. Wheeler. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. And on the volley, that's not exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten, it goes where it did do. Chet Evans now. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. 
News of a goal on the Rotherham United match. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Rotherham United. Six minutes remain. 3 0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Looks promising this. Intelligent threaded pass here. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, you could be critical of the defending, but let's focus on the great play. Capped off with a superb, calm, calculated finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Chet Evans now. And plenty of scope to be creative in that. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match. Number well, eight. Just couldn't Joe keep the ball. Dempsey. Dangerous looking attack. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Goal for Dempsey. Wanderers, number seven, David Wheeler. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. The three has indicated there will be a minimum well, of The attacking three options appear plentiful. Time. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, it's good build-up, but there's one player standing in front of the goal. And it falls to him, and he's not going to miss from there. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Ball sailing over everyone in the centre. And now it is truly final. The match is over.